So now we can put our glazed roof onto our conservatory. And in order to do that, I'm going to be in architecture and I'm going to pull up roof. And it will always ask this box here because uh, we're in the ground floor view, as we can see here. Uh, Revit thinks we're trying to draw a roof sitting on the ground floor, which we don't want to do, but we want to be in this view. So when it asks this, just keep it on ground floor and click yes. And uh, we're going to change a few of the properties over here. So we're going to our properties box and we're going to change it to a roof sloped glazing. And we're also going to change the height because at the moment it's set at zero. So we'd actually be building this roof or drawing this roof and so it's sitting on the floor, which we don't want. Uh, we know that our, our conservatory walls are 2 meters 100 high. So we're going to change our base offset to 2100 and click apply. Uh, so that's now set into there. Once we've done that, we're going to go into edit type and we're going to change some of the parameters in here. So we've got, we're going to be using grid one uh, because they're going to be our vertical bars. Uh, so into here, we have got none. We want to go maximum spacing and I'm going to change my maximum spacing to a meter in this instance. Uh, once I've done that, I now actually want to have some mullions because at the moment I've got none. I'm going to change that to 30 mil square. So each of these are going to be changed to are 30 millimeters square like so click apply and okay and I can now start drawing my roof uh, so for this I'm going to be using my rectangle tool I'm still going to be using my offset up in the top left hand corner up here I'm going to be having a slightly smaller offset than my main roof so I'm going to be going 200 mil uh, onto there and so when I start drawing uh, using my rectangle tool I'm going to start in this corner over here but you can see that it's already drawing out my uh, overhang for my roof and then click that onto there. Uh, so that's the, 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 the footprint actually uh, pulled out onto there. Just hit the escape key a couple of times. Uh, this line here is in the wrong place. I could just drag it if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to use uh, the align key. So uh, using AL, a destination first, then the pink line that snaps it to it, escape key on that. And we can also see that these um, ones that are left uh, have all got a slope on them. This one here, we definitely don't want to have a slope on it. So we're going to go into constraints, defines roof slope, and uncheck that box because this one's up against a wall. I want to keep a slope on these three sides. At the moment, the default setting for this roof is 30 degrees. You can see this slope here is 30 degrees. Uh, so I actually want to change that. I don't want it to be slightly less than that. I'm going to go for around about, um, let's try 20 degrees and see what that's going to look like. Hit apply and then do the same with these others here. I can also do it in here as well. 20 in there and go into this one and go 20 in there and then let's have a look at it let's see what it looks like so we're going to go into our green tick and finish that off when it says would you like to attach i always attach my wall so if i start moving things around um, we can do that ignore this uh, dialog box down there we don't need to worry about that so i've now got my 3d view and we can now start to see that our conservatory roof is actually sitting up uh, on there if you didn't want to have it uh, hipped on both sides, we could have just unchecked these for def defined roof slopes on these when we're in the drawing mode, and then it would just be like a lean-to uh, going to it, but I quite like the fact that it's got these hips on the side of it. It looks a bit more realistic. Um, and that's how we actually do our roof uh, in, in, for our conservatory.